Hey guys, welcome to Fangs Out. And uh, we got a lot to get to. There's a lot of movies that I want to talk about uh, that I recently seen. And, um, well, let's just get started. Uh, the first one I want to talk to you about is Ghostbusters. Um, Ghostbusters, the original, I'm a big fan of. Uh, and, uh, you know, just to tell you what I think about the original, it's it was witty, it had the right cast, it was, you know, one of my, um, one of my favorites, you know, um, and uh, all, and I, you know, for years I, I got excited about the fact that there was going to be a Ghostbuster 3, and uh, we were going to have, you know, uh, uh, you know the original cast come back and then unfortunately Har Harold Ramis uh, uh, passed away and uh, and it was uh, uh, You know sad thing and it pretty much killed any idea of uh, Of a reboot with the original cast uh, uh, The original cast by the way uh, made cameos, you know, we're talking about uh, uh, of course the um, uh, you know the original Ghostbusters. You know, just came back to make some cameos. But uh, the biggest thing beforehand, before we talk my thoughts on this film, is the fact that uh, you know the the big elephant in the room is the fact that you know the the new cast is is an all female cast, and a lot of people just go sacrilege. You know, and uh, there's two sides to this movie. Some people say, hey, uh, if you like this movie, you're, you're, you know, you're disgracing, uh, you know, the, the fact that, uh, you, you, you know, because this is a slap in the face, you know, to the original cast, because they're recasting it with all women, and, and, and on the other hand, if you don't like it, then you're a chauvinist pig, because you hate, you know, the fact that they're, that they're women cast, uh, after watching the movie and and seeing what they tried to do, um, first of all, disclaimer: I love women. <laughs> My girlfriend Vampiria, she's awesome. In fact, I wanted her to come over and do a review with me, but she's too busy at work, so so she couldn't get a get off work to so that she could do the review. We should do. A, I'm gonna get her to do some reviews with me because we watch a lot of mo horror movies together, and I want her point of view. You guys would love her, but we'll see if we can get her to go on can one of these days. Um, but coming back to this review, um, you know, I think that it's. You know, after watching the film, I can try that they try to go some other direction, and I'll go deep into it. And I don't think that I mean because it's an impossibility to get the original cast anymore. And uh, it, it was an attempt to do something different. Now, what do I think of the movie? In short, it's a meh. It's actually not the worst thing in the world. It's actually not the best thing in the world either. It's kind of so-so, um, you know, in the short ways. Now, you know, why why does this happen? Well, uh, the movie uh, basically gets this, you know, gets this talented, you know, female actresses here, uh, you know, directed by uh, Paul Fig and uh, produced by Ivan Reitman. And we got, um, Melissa McCarty, Kristen Wiig, uh, Kate McKillen, and Leslie Jones there, uh, with, with Thor, Chris Hemworth, uh, you know, character as the secretary, receptionist type of thing. And, um, let's talk about, you know, the story. It's basically, um, this you know, th these women that come from different backgrounds. Uh, uh, one of them, you know, Kristen Wiig is like a, a, a scientist that formerly um, was formerly a parapsychologist and now she's trying to get a tenure at a, a famous university and she's kind of like away from ghost busting type of things, right? And um, 
but the Melissa McCarty character is just very into it and um, and invites her in. No, no, actually, that is invite her in. They they kind of like um, there's one book that's been published that she wants. She she doesn't want anybody to know that she's ever done paranormal activity investigations and and the other's trying to sell her book and and um, you know the she gets they get together to you know unwillingly at first by McCarty you know to check out some paranormal activity and check out that hey you know what there is really some paranormal activity going on and I need to just check it out and then. Um, the team gets together uh, with with them both, and uh, uh, you know a, another scientist named Holtzman that makes the the weapons that help uh, ghost busting, and uh, one more, uh, you know the Leslie Jones character that she kind of works at the uh, metro station, and she sees the ghost and and becomes obsessed with it, and, and wants to join the team, and. Um, and basically, they out to stop this bad guy who wants to crap on the world because he's been bullied as a child, something like that. Uh, the good and the bad. Uh, let's talk about the good. Um, these women are really talented, the cast. Uh, um, they're really funny. Uh, there are generally some funny moments. Uh, some of them are... <laughs> uh, actually, the trailer was pretty bad, and most of the funny moments that they are they're not in there um you know there's there's some jokes that um that actually you know work uh there's a lot of improvisation you know because that, that's where this you know mccarty and christine wig are their, are their strongest so they do a lot of improvisation and and uh, it's kind of fun also to see you know the big man uh um, you know, Thor, right? Uh, Henworth acting like, uh, you know, he's just a dumb blonde bimbo, you know, and, 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 uh, and, you know, the, the other character is just fawning over him because he's so handsome and basically they hire him just because he's good looking. And, and, yeah, there's some, there's some, oh, the, uh, also towards the end, uh, there's some very funny moments of, of Henworth there too. Um, uh, another thing that I like is the special effects, even though at first they look so great, they got better towards the end. And especially when they do the uh, new Ghost Boston fighting techniques, you can see that that technology has improved. And uh, even though I'm not the biggest fan of CG, I would say that, yeah, I mean, that's, uh, that's been an improvement. Uh, now, going back to what's now what's bad okay not all the jokes hit a lot of them miss so i would say it's a 50 50 so there is a lot of lame jokes um i think that some of the characters were don't just one dimensional like let like the the leslie jones character could have been better but she's kind of like too stereotypical in my way i mean and 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 the Holtzman's character, it's there, there's just too, everybody's just too stereotypical, um, in in a way that oh yeah, there's the scientist, the dorky scientist, there's the the, uh, you know the uh, uh, there's uh, Melissa McCarty, the super scientist is always obsessed about you know, getting this thing and and. And Christine Wiig is always obsessed about Thor and, and, and how handsome he is. And, and there's a lot of uh, limo jokes. Uh, definitely. Um, so, in all in all, I was entertained. I wasn't bored. The movie wasn't boring. Uh, as as my, for, my first take, if you could see if I... Um, I wouldn't buy this movie, but, you know, it's, it's like I wouldn't... You know, I wouldn't necessarily say that, hey, you know, that the franchise is dead. Because I think that I like the fact that it didn't go the same route as the original. And there's some possibilities. You know, this could be the new Ghostbusters. Uh, the, the ladies are funny. They just need to write better material, better jokes. And uh, a, a better plot. It's kind of like the, the, the villain is really too cliche. 
it, it's his motivations are doubtful uh it's not great but it's like i said it's i seen many more weird terrible films so this gets a c minus you know so it's a midnight watch if you're bored type of watch now having said that if you are a big fan of the original ghostbusters and 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 you wanted something like that you'll be com you'll give this movie an f minus and, and burn it uh you know if you say hey you know what i wanted something like the ghostbusters this is not it they try to go in a different direction so let's just give them credit you know then that's not bother me that's a female cast i mean it's just oh i want to see it's just a good movie no matter what i understand that it's you know the other actors are now way too old the cameras that they made, you know, they're fine, but you could say that if, if you try, even if you, let's say that you will replace the Harold Ramis character with somebody else, you just can't do that anymore. And and, and they're just past their prime. If they were going to do a Ghostbusters 3, it should have been done much, much earlier. So there you have it. So if you're a big fan of the original, this may be a big letdown for you. If you're looking for, you know, really kind of reboot remix the, the the franchise into something new it wasn't the most terrible you know i might be interested in checking something out you know because i have uh, uh there's some good writers involvement there's some good you know there's ivan reitman involvement and there's uh you know and and the original cast uh you know making some cameos you know it, it was fun it was fun to see them even though they're you know they're good they're not looking the same, but it's been a lot of years now, so come on. So, overall and all, I think the hype was too overblown. Um, like I said, in my opinion, not the worst, but not the best. Stay tuned for more reviews. Take it easy.